Hi guys, my name is Sonella and I'm the owner of Main Brown Lash and I'm also a licensed micropigmentation practitioner and a licensed esthetician. Now in this video I'd like to show the difference between the different brow styles that we do. I've already made a video explaining what the difference between them are, so this is a part two. Basically saying if the skin type did not play a role in which brows you can get, um, which brow styles would look best on you. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering and many people have messaged me and asked me, I'm not sure which one to pick, which would suit me the best. So therefore I've decided to make this video just kind of showing some pictures and examples to help you decide what will be best for you if your skin type did not play a role. Long story short, if you have a very oily skin type, oily T-zone, um, microblading alone does not last very long. Therefore, recommend a combo brow or ombre brow in that case. Now, first I'm going to show you some picture that I have printed here from Instagram. And I thought it was a perfect example to show you the difference between the different brow styles and how they would look on you. So let's say if you have very thin brow with just a little bit of hair on one area and not much hair on the other side of the brow. For example, here we have the tail pretty much missing. This would be a ombre brow, which is shaded all throughout with leaving it pretty light in the front. Powder brow would be uh, shaded all throughout. This would be an example of just microblading. So you can see just the microblading strokes. And in this case, I don't think this is the best uh, scenario for this client over here if she was real just because you can see the areas where she has hair and then the area where she doesn't it just does not blend well together therefore I recommend to someone like that to get a combo brow so you'll have the brow strokes and the shading all together which is the combination of these two together in one and therefore the whole brow is all blended in together and you get the full brow look so if that so what your brow looks like, I would definitely recommend one or the other. Now, if you already have a uh, full eyebrow hair, you just want to add more definition, a little bit more shape to them and more density, microblading alone could, will be a great choice for you as well. You can also do the shading, the ombre brow or the combo brow as well, but you can definitely just do the microblading in that case. And I will insert a picture showing a great example of someone who had beautiful eyebrow hair. She just wanted more definition and shape to them. Now, let's say for someone that has no eyebrows at all and they just want to add, uh, I, obviously eyebrows, they're tired of drawing them in every day and trying to get them as even as possible. For them, I would definitely recommend, again, just the um, shaded or the combo brow. Microblading alone will um, still show skin in between the hair strokes. Now, for individuals that have half a brow and then tail missing or the other way around, a combo brow or ombre brow would be recommended. Now, if you have scars on your brows, I again would recommend a shaded technique, which is done with the machine, a combo or ombre brow. For individuals that have a very low tails and you would like to lift them a little bit up to give you a little bit more of the fake facelift. In that case, again, I will definitely go with the combo or ombre brow. Most likely combo. Give that uh, fake hair stroke look. Uh, microblading alone, again, would not uh, fill everything up and give you that uh, full brow look. Another scenario is if you have a pencil thin eyebrows. Again, the 90s and the 80s, but they have done to us. In that case, I would also recommend a combo or ombre brow. Probably a combo would be a great option for you. Let me, let me just quickly review. If you already have beautiful full eyebrows or just need a little bit of shaping to them, add more symmetry and definition, you can definitely just do the microblading. If you have brow hair missing and you like to blend that area with the brow area that you already have, a combination brow would be a better option for you. And individuals that have uh, full brows missing, no brow hair, I would definitely recommend it in combination or ombre brow. Now, ombre brow and combination brow, you can get that done no matter what kind of brow situation you already have. But for the microblading, um, you do need brow hair so it can blend in the hair strokes 
with them. I hope that kind of ex explained it a little bit further. Let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can uh, leave a comment if you're on my YouTube channel. You can leave a comment down below. If you're a client of mine, uh, you can definitely call me or reach me or email me any questions or concerns that you might have. But either way, when you do come for your consultation, I will uh, look at, take a look at your brows and give you my professional opinion what will look the most beautiful for your face. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to meeting you and have a wonderful day.